Hi folks, just a quick update on the custom.css file or as it's called now user.css in Joomla 4.1. Now if you look at the information on screen you can see that there was a change of where the actual file is located. In Joomla 4 it was templates Cassiopeia and then it would be custom and then custom.css. Now it's actually in media templates site Cassiopeia and then if you drill down into there uh, you'll be able to uh, put the user.css file which I'll show you how to do that now shortly. So it's called user.css not custom.css. Now if you will go to the back end of where the templates are That was the uh, the old directory templates Cassiopeia. This is the new directory media template site Cassiopeia, and in here is where you'd have the user.css file. Now, what they say is that if you go and click on new file, and you type in user, and then select CSS, and then you create the file, um, it comes up underneath here. But apparently you're supposed to be able to access it from here. But I have tried that and it hasn't worked. So this is kind of my workaround until I find out exactly what's going on. So what I did was I just copied over an empty uh, user file. I'll just go up on the, the root directory here to show you where it is in the actual root of Joomla. So there's your Joomla root folders. So normally you would come down here and you go into templates, Cassiopeia, and then you'd have a custom folder there and then it custom.css. But with Joomla 4.1 you go into media, go down the end, go to templates, site, Cassiopeia, CSS, and then uh, what I did was I copied over a user CSS file a blank user CSS file. So if we close that down, for example, and then we just go back into it. And if we go to CSS, we have a user.css file, which should be blank. So what we need to do then is go over to the front page and we need to find out the actual code that's used for here. So if we go into tools, browser tools, web developer tools. I'm using Firefox, by the way. And what we do is we highlight the area that we're interested in, which is here. Now you notice it says h3.card-header. And also this is h3.card-header. So if we come down to this, and then this is what we need, dot card, dot, dot card header. So we need to take that code there, and we need to pop it into the user file, user CSS file. And if we say color green, for example, and then we save that. And then we go back to the front, we close the web dev down, and we'll do a refresh. Now, it's actually turned green, but because the main menu is also called card header we don't want the main menu green we just want the login form so that means we need to change the name of that custom text so it, it only targets the login form and we need to use the CSS classes to do that so basically what we do is we go back into the user CSS and if we change that to card dash header two, So that's given a unique name different from the main menu and we save that. Now if we were to refresh that, we did a refresh, it would go back to black because obviously it's now called card header two. So we need to target the login form. So how do we do that? Well what we do is we go into the login form in the module. login form and in the advanced section in the module it'll say header class 
So we type in card header two and we save that and then we go back out front and we'll do a refresh and there you go so what you've just done is targeted the login form module with CSS by just changing the actual name and putting that uh, name into the header class in the module section so the whole idea of this is just to show you how you can manipulate uh, certain parts of the website and and affect individual things on the website rather than having a global change with everything so i hope that is a little tip and it helps out as i said maybe i'm doing something wrong regarding the user.css uh, when you create a new file but i this is the workaround that i've uh, what i do and have done on websites um, so if you just copy over the user.css over to the media template site Cassiopeia, then you can go in and you can edit the actual file, put in the code, uh, and uh, hopefully you should be good to go with that. I hope that's helpful.